Now I give the floor to COC Netherlands, a joint statement. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. This statement is made in consultation with the Sexual Rights Center and the Gays and Lesbians of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe still faces many violations of the rights of LGBTI people that go directly against international human rights standards and the new Zimbabwean constitution. Next to the fact that same-sex relationships are still criminalized, the community faces discrimination and violence in many aspects of life, from a lack of protection by law enforcement to a lack of equal access to health care. Even though Zimbabwe has sought grants from the Global Fund to target the LGBTI community and men who have sex with men in its HIV prevention programs, the government has failed to implement the programs due to its local contradictory and discriminatory policies. And this contradiction is also reflected by the discriminatory implementation of the new constitution, which stipulates non-discrimination, equality, dignity, and privacy for every person. In law, policy, and practice, the principle of non-discrimination is still not adhered to by the government when it comes to LGBTI people. Mr. Vice President, we seek the decriminalization of all sexual acts between consenting adults, regardless of their gender, in the interest of their privacy, and in ways which will all align the criminal code with the new constitution. Decriminalization will go some way to restoring our right to dignity and equality before the law. Gals and the Sexual Rights Center believe that leaders in Zimbabwe have a duty to lead Zimbabwe towards a new and democratic order, which abandons the politics of hatred and intolerance. The government should adhere to international human rights standards and abandon unfairing discrimination against any group, regardless of how popular or unpopular the group might be in society. We believe that the new constitution should be interpreted as rendering discrimination against the LGBTI community as unconstitutional and unjustifiable in a democratic society, which seeks to take its place in the community of nations. I thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you.